we're pleased to share an animation with you that shows many of the improvements to both theaters. As we approach the lobby, you'll see that we've removed the musician's gallery so that you can see through the lobby space better, reconfigured the main stairs up to the crescent. You can see the two new elevators on the left and the new stair, the wide 10-foot stair that leads down to the Ricketson Theater. Once we're in the stage, uh, we're able to take advantage of the remarkable experience and skills of so many of you who collaborate with us in design. Um, Kevin Roach did such a beautiful job with the, the original design that many of the changes will be very subtle, um, but there is two and a half floors worth of change beneath your seats to be made uh, in the levels below in the building. We want to preserve what we love so much about the theater in terms of its intimacy, but we certainly want to enable you all to work more easily and effectively in the theater and to give the audience the same kind of great experience that they've had uh, for years now coming to the stage. If you are arriving in the main lobby and going down to the Ricketson, you'll have the option to take the stairs down to the mid-level uh, new lobby space where you can choose to go into the cross aisle of the stage theater here or to descend a new staircase with a big skylight leading down to the Ricketson, um, which will take you to an expanded lobby space with new restrooms, um, a space that can stand alone as an event venue, um, and that will provide through the new elevator accessibility uh, and a much more hospitable welcome to patrons coming to the Ricketson. We'll also be improving uh, the entrances and the accessible seating in the Ricketson. Obviously, since we're underneath the Galleria, uh, we won't be making structural changes to the height of the room, but we will be making acoustical changes to the finishes to enliven the presence and the energy of the performers' voices um, and be making some very subtle changes beneath the stage and backstage to improve the ability of our design and technical personnel to work in the room. You can see uh, back in the rear row of the rickets in there where we'll have new accessible seating locations and a live mix position. And then you will see on the, once we develop further renderings, you'll see the acoustical enhancements to the side walls and new lighting positions and more space in the control booth for those of you who have had to be uh, working in that space. Um, and then of course, you'll have the opportunity when you come out into the lobby uh, to then make your way up to the mid-level lobby or be served at the bar here and to be better connected to all of the patron services of the building. Uh, we think that this is gonna make the whole building work together as far as patrons are concerned, as far as subscribers are concerned and make it much easier to navigate arrivals for those people who are coming to the Bonfils Theater Complex for the first time or for the thousandth, as so many loyal patrons do. As we come up into the lobby, we don't yet show some of the changes and improvements that we'll be making in terms of patron services like bar and cafe, but those will begin to be visible in coming weeks in what we share with you. Um, but we think that the changes to the lobby are going to enhance the original design and knit the building together in some very exciting ways.